the context I'd like for you to think about is World War II. So this is um this is a bomber in World War II. And um World War II was a very, very bloody war. One of the most important things about why it was so bloody is because death could happen on such a big scale, right? Now the US Air Force, they were interested in making sure they could save the lives of their pilots as much as possible, okay? So this is um, one of the biggest bombers they've got. And there's this tricky thing, like people are trying to shoot down your, your aircraft, right? And so like your aircraft come back and they're riddled with holes from, from aircraft fire and that kind of thing. So they said, look, we want to armor our aircraft. That'll give them a better chance for survival, right? So you would make these things more armored, but of course you can't just add more and more armor to like add infinitum, why not? Because it can't get off the ground. Because then it can't fly, higher, right? Or it becomes less efficient because it's so heavy, etc. So they approached some statisticians, some people who deal with all this data, and they said, okay, can you work out for us? Look at, here are all of the planes that come back, and here are where all the bullet holes are. Can you tell us where we should put the armor? Okay? Now, interestingly, I wonder if the logic is starting to turn for you, right? Um, when they looked at all of the planes they had, the vast majority of all of the bullet holes and so on uh, mainly are on the wings and on the end of the fuselage over here. That's like the, the main part of the plane. So it, would it not be a reasonable kind of conclusion to draw that if that's where we're getting shot at the most, that's where we should put armor? That's like a reasonable kind of conclusion so to draw. Right? Wings, they all about the balance? Okay, yes, yeah, so that seems down. important, right? Yeah, yeah, like um, so long as you've got the same amount of armor on both sides, it should be okay, right? Except for the fact that if you think back to the question I posed to you, right? If you think about this, you'll realize actually the answer is exactly the opposite. The wings and the fuselage where all the bullet holes are is the last place you should put armor. Think, think, think. You already gave me some really good answers here. What is the sample bias that's inherent to the situation if I tell you where would you get all of the planes that come back with bullet holes? What's the bias? Because those planes that come back can get shot down. Yeah, so we have a special name for this. This is worth writing down. I'd love you to go and research this later on. Oh, this is called survivorship bias. Okay. If they, right? they shot there, they shouldn't put it there because that's the one that they did not explode. Very good. So, so aircraft don't tend to come back with, uh, with holes in the cockpit or in the engine block because if you get shot there, you don't come back, right? <laughs> so those are the places that you need armor. So your bias, your sample, only includes the survivors. So therefore it has a bias that comes along with it. Does like, that make sense? It's like the same so is the story that they actually put it on the wings and that's no, why it's funny? The story was, <laughs> the story, <laughs> the story, <laughs> hilarious. The story was there were some awesome mathematicians and statisticians who said, hey, you know what? You gotta think about what the data means and um, how to actually use it, right? 